Hello, CFF. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How is everyone doing on this beautiful Monday? Can you believe we're coming to the end of September this week and next week? And we are done. Time flies so fast, I tell you. But um, I want to welcome everyone here. If you're new to my channel, um, welcome and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, please consider uh, subscribing by hitting the subscribe button and then the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. So I have uh, caught up in my uh, prayerful planner because I think the last week I showed you guys <laughs> I had been under the weather and uh, I fell behind but I have caught up um, in my prayerful planner I did do um, number two um, I did a number two opening of my purchase from the prayerful planner so if you didn't see that Please go and through my videos and look at that. Um, so this week, wow, it went so incredibly fast. And um, I really focused on um, scriptures that is there to let us know that we are a creation of God. And he didn't make a mistake when he created us. He created us just the way he wanted us. And so we have to embrace that fact that he didn't make a mistake. He doesn't make mistakes. And so therefore, we are, um, as the scriptures say, fearfully and wonderfully made. So this week, um, Sunday from Sunday the 12th, through the 18th, um, I did my pages. And so here you will see um, from last Sunday, I have been set free. And all of my um, stickers that you see here, this whole week is from the Faithful Heart Shop. And I just really have to thank um, her name is Pauline. I don't want to chop up her last name. <laughs> so I'm just going to say Pauline. But I really thank Pauline for the, um, the great work that she does. No, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm just saying how grateful I am for her work. So if you have not been to her shop, go to Etsy and go over to um, the Faithful Heart Shop. And so all this week I used her sticker kits. And so this here for Sunday, can you see, it's called I Have Been Set Free. And we have, we have been set free from the bound, the bonds of sin. We're no longer entangled with that. So we are free. We're free to be the creation that God has created us to be. Amen. And so then on Monday, this is also from the Faithful Heart Shop. And these stickers are from Precious in His Eyes. I think there's three, two page kit. But um, we are precious in his eyes. But God loves everything he created. And he created us. So therefore, we are precious. We are jewels. We are jewels to the Lord. And then on Tuesday, I did treasures in clay. In jars of clay. Also the Faithful Heart Shop. Like I said, all last week was the Faithful Heart Shop. She has some beautiful, beautiful sticker kits. And I just loved it. And I love this right here. Treasures and treasure in jar, jars of clay. 
and we have something in this earthen vessel, our vessel, our body, and he created us um, to be this perfect. I have to say perfect. I don't want to say um, that we're imperfect. Why? Because all of God's creations are perfect. We might mess them up, but he didn't mess them up when he made them. And so then after he created us and gave us this beautiful creation that he made, he gave us something that is more precious than the jewels, which is his spirit dwelling on the inside of us. <laughs> oh my God. When you think about the goodness of God and all the things that he does for us, is doing for us and has done for us you have to be happy with that you have to be how can you not be so we have some treasures in this old earthen body that he placed in us his spirit his power his love his joy his peace and when we keep it activated i tell you we we there's nothing we can't do because he created us for that amen and then on Wednesday, I hope you guys can see that. This is um, also when on Wednesday, I was um, said on my Facebook page that God created this land. He made this land. We know all his creations are good. and But we wanted to pray for the healing of our land with everything that's going on with the sickness and the disease and and everything that's coming up and there's so many people that are losing their lives and just uh, becoming very ill and so we want to pray and this is not just a Wednesday prayer but pray that God will heal the land that he will come in and just cleanse the land of everything that is causing sickness or whatever it may be, diseases and cancers. Um, so we pray for God to touch and heal. So that's what I did on Wednesday. And as I said, the Faithful Heart Shop, I just love her, her stickers. Then on um, Thursday, on my Facebook group page, if you guys are not on my Facebook group page, I want to encourage you to go over to um, my Facebook group page, CFF, and join in. I post on my Facebook group page and my Instagram page every single day. So, um, and Thursday, um, I post it. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And this is from her sticker kit. Um, I think it's treasures, treasure in jars of clay. I think this is part of it. Um, and then also the florals is from there. And this is where I just talked about that we are his creation. We are the work of his hands. He didn't make a mistake when he made us. He didn't make a mistake when he made you. And we need to um, embrace who we are and how God has made us. I know sometimes we can look in the mirror. I'm guilty of it. I'll, amen. I'm guilty of it. Oh, Lord, I wish this was this. Or, oh, I wish this, you had given me this. Or maybe, no, stop that. Get happy with who you are. You are his creation. He didn't make a mistake when he made you. He made you just the way he wanted you. And there's a purpose in why he created you that way. You just need to go and find out what that purpose is. Friday, I did um, Ezekiel on my Facebook page. Talked about him and his visions of the Valley of Dry Bones. And um, sometimes we think there's no life. And there's nothing that um, we can do, but I'm telling you, you have to see beyond the mess. 
Oh God, you have to see beyond the destruction, beyond the the uh, all kind of things that will make you think there's no life there. There's no hope there. There is hope. There is life. Why? Because we need to look through the eyes of our maker. Our maker doesn't see that. He sees hope. He sees a future. He sees good things for us. And we need to look through his lens, his lens of his eye, and realize not only did he create us the way he wanted us to be, there is a purpose for our life. And no matter what it looks like right now, there is life in the valley of dry bones. There's life beyond the mess. It's not going to always be that way. Things are going to turn around for your good. Things are going to change. Things are not going to always be that way. So whatever it is, I want to encourage you today to see beyond the, the, the deadness of it. <laughs> <laughs> is it is that um feasible to say beyond the deadness of it um you know how when you go and you look you see these people one of my favorite channels is hgtv and i look at how they restore the house and some people go in and they say oh wow this is a disaster and some people go in and they see every possibility and how it can be see the possibilities don't see the mess in the junk. See the possibilities. So that was um, from my Friday post on uh, Ezekiel. And then Saturday, self-care, you know, spending time with God and, and letting him uh, direct our day, guide our day. You know, um, this is what I did on um, Saturday. So hopefully you can see that. And these flowers, um, these florals, I want to say they're from the Faithful Heart Shop. But for the life of me, I couldn't figure out where. So don't quote me on that. But I think they are because I have a little place that I keep all my Faithful Heart Shop stickers. And these were in there. But I, I'm not sure if they are. So, but anyway... Beautiful florals. I love them. Not sure where, if they're Faithful Heart or someplace else. But if I find out, I'll let you know. <laughs> so spending time with God. And we don't have to wait till Sunday service to go spend time with God. Carve out some time in your day. My time is early in the morning before anybody gets up and the house gets noisy and chaotic. I like to go in and spend time with the Lord and just get into my word, work in my planner, and just enjoy the quietness of the day. Amen. And of course, Sunday, this is a whole new week, but um, I haven't even started next week, but I did get Sunday done. And so Sunday is... Um, from the Faithful Heart Shop. These are the stickers. And it is the broken pieces. It's, and it's part of those, it's part of that kit, treasure in jars of clay. And I love this when I seen it, the cracks. We all can see some cracks in us. <laughs> we can all see some pieces missing. But how wonderful is our God that he goes in and he fixes those cracks. He fixes those pieces that are missing. He puts them all back together. He dries our tears. He heals our pain. He touches our body. We have so much to be thankful for. How can we ever stop and say, I don't like the way I am? That means you don't like what God did. And we should be happy with however he created us because with it, however he created us, it's perfect. Amen. Amen. So that's my planner for the week, guys. That is what I was doing. And I'm happy to say I'm ready to start my new week. And I kicked it off with um, Sunday with... Um, <clears throat> 
God fixes our broken pieces. And so now I'm ready for this week. So I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope that uh, your, your day so far has been blessed. I hope you have the joy, the peace, the love, the happiness. And I hope that you're embracing how God has made you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. He didn't make a mistake. How he made you is how he wanted you. And we need to embrace that. And if you're broken, if you're hurt, if there's sorrow, if there's sadness, remember, go to God. He can fix those broken pieces. Those broken pieces he can fix. He can uh, heal all the cracks that you feel that you have, you know, and um, the older I get, the more, you know, I I tell my husband, I said, wow, there's some mornings I get up, I'm so stiff, and oh, I just don't want to move, but then I say, Lord, I thank you, because you made me, and you, there's no surprise to you, you knew that this is what would be, but I still serve a purpose, I still have a purpose so because I'm still here. So embrace who you are, love who you are, and love the creator for how he made you. So until next time, I hope you guys have a beautifully blessed day, and I will talk to you next week. See you then. Remember, every day is a good day when you stay focused on the good that's in that day. And your day may not be perfect, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have purpose. So until next time, bye guys.